Uh, Olaf. <laughs> Me llamo Gregorio. It's my, it's my name in Spanish. Gregorio. It's pretty badass. Combines my two favorite things in life. <laughs> I guess I don't need to finish that. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to lose weight. A lot of my friends are like, Greg, why? Because they're dicks. <laughs> and it's simple. It's because I want to do things that skinny people do. Like go rock climbing. <laughs> or have sex. <laughs> or have sex while rock climbing. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been skinny. Don't know what you bitches do. <laughs> I hate commercials for workout equipment because it's always the same. It's always this really buff dude struggling to do the exercise. <laughs> I'm kind of just sitting on the couch going, well, if he can barely do it. <laughs> I have no chance. <laughs> this product is not sold. <laughs> I love commercials, though. I really do. I was listening to commercials the other day. It was a commercial for In-N-Out. <laughs> Fast food place. They're like, try our fresh ingredients. Vine-picked tomatoes. <laughs> I was like, hey, in and out you know who else uses vine-picked tomatoes? Everyone who uses tomatoes. <laughs> they don't come any other way. Try our fresh ingredients. Tomatoes picked from the heart of a dying star. <laughs> Those don't exist. But I would like it if they did. I love my friends. I have the best friends in the world. They like me for me. Sometimes that messes up my life though. Because they'll call me up. They'll be like, hey Greg, you want to go swimming? I'll be like, hell yeah, I'm buoyant. <laughs> What they won't mention is that this pool is located in a place surrounded by a seven-foot-high fence. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm not much of a climber. <laughs> so when this happens, I believe every fat person goes through the same three-step process to get over this fence. I like to accentuate steps. When I say step one, you guys yell step one back at me. We'll try it now. Step one. Step one. I check the fence for structural integrity. <laughs> Like a weak point, a previous fat person, maybe hit like <laughs> Now if that doesn't work, it's on a step two. I check the ground soil, because maybe I can tunnel it. <laughs> and when that doesn't work, it's on to the final step, step three. Step three! Highly embarrassing, it's called the beach whale method. You, put your <laughs> you take one leg, you throw it over the fence. And then you smash your balls as you roll over. <laughs> falling on the other side. It's really painful, I'm not even that good of a swimmer and I wish that wasn't a true story. <laughs> How many of you all voted in the last election? Okay, like seven. That might be a problem. I don't want to judge. I'm going to say you guys voted wrong. All of you, I don't care who you voted for, you voted wrong. You could have elected me and you didn't do it. I can fix the economy. I've been doing a lot of reading. Oh, how was the second part? <laughs> I've been doing a lot of reading, and I've discovered that a lot of America's debt it owes to itself over a 25-year period. 
And if being unemployed and watching 14 hours of television a day has taught me anything, <laughs> it's that when you have structured settlements and you need cash to <laughs> J.G. Wentworth. <laughs> Phone number? I've got it. 877 <laughs> Welcome, America. <laughs> so, uh, I hate when, when people, like, specifically girls, lie at... Because, like, I was talking to this girl, and she was like, Ah, oh, I slept with a dude. I'm such a slut. And I was like, hey, you're not a slut because you sleep with a dude. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you're a slut because you keep telling everyone about it. <laughs> Just met you. <laughs> or like girls who aren't fat, they keep saying they are. Yeah. 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 It's so rude. Like, I don't go up to a blind guy and be like, ah, oh, my vision's 2040. That's rude. And, like, I do online dating, I'll admit, I don't give a fuck. Like, fat and lonely is what we fucking do. Like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Everyone knows it. Like, and I hate all the girls' profiles because they're all the same. It's always the same. It's like, I really love to travel. I just love travel. Hit me up if you want to travel. Like, hey, hey girl. You know who else likes to travel? Everybody. That's a human thing. Sometimes we all like to be where we don't live. Or like adventure is huge online. Like I'm so adventurous. You should you should message me if you want to go on an adventure. Who are you? Because if you're Peter Pan, then yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but if you're not, then I don't know what the fuck talk about. <laughs> like, oh, went to Ralph's today, there was a speed bump adventure. <laughs> the absolute worst profile I ever read was this girl literally right. This, this is a quotation. I read a book. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> First off, you're 27, should have read many books by now. <laughs> so many books. Second, you're not a nerd because you read a book. Yeah. Argue about who the best bounty hunter is on Darth Vader's flagship, the superstar story of Executor, in The Empire Strikes Back while playing Magic the Gathering and watching professional wrestling. <laughs> Then, a nerd will you be? That joke will never be that. That kisses the ceiling for that joke right now. Three more quick ones and then I'm out of here. Yeah. We only got to two, but who counted? <laughs> Once is enough. You guys know that scene in Lord of the Rings where Eowyn's fighting the Nazgul? Yeah. yeah. Normally I have to explain it, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> she like, she goes, no man can kill me, and she rips off her helmet, which by the way, tactically unsound to do in a battle. <laughs> She's like, I am no man. And then stabs him in the face. I just want one, one director's cut. Where he's like, no man can kill me. And she rips off her helmet. He's like, I am no man. And he goes, well, you're taking that a bit literally. <laughs> it's called mankind. It's just a nuance of language. I'm no etymologist, but you know, don't tell my wife. She'll kill me. Not literally. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs>
never gonna leave. Two more of them are out, I'm already over time, so we gotta go fast. I'm in my car, right? I'm listening to commercials in my car, commercials come on from metal recycling. They're like, we're your metal recycling resource. We give you money for your metal. Say, habla espanol. <laughs> Which is stupid, because if you only spoke Spanish, all you heard was blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sense says leave it there. No, the next one's a Star Wars joke. It's happening. <laughs> so when I have a girlfriend, which doesn't happen often, but does sometimes, shut up. <laughs> My friends like Greg, describe her to us. And I'm like, well, she's a lot like the Millennium Talk. <laughs> she may not look like much, but she's got her accounts. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, people don't understand that. So I have to go through the second part of the joke. Here it is. What I'm trying to say is she's fat, or I like to call it friendly. <laughs> and when having sex with a friendly girl, I believe every fat person goes through the same three-step process. Step one. Like, step one. Step one. I check her for structural integrity. <laughs>